What's going on fellow Redliners? Welcome back to another video. We got a action packed day today. As you can probably tell from, well, behind me, there is no Genesis Coupe right here. So uh, I've already sent it out to the dealership and uh, they've done the repairs to the window. So I'll explain um, what's going on there. Actually, if you guys haven't seen it, basically someone tried to break into my uh, Genesis Coupe. And if you guys haven't seen that video, first of all, I don't know why, uh, go watch it. I'll link it up here, open it in a new tab. Uh, and watch that so that it kind of makes sense for you here. But anyways, for those that you uh, of you who have watched it, I'll explain. So basically, what the guy ended up breaking in the window was the regulator, the motor, and the rails. So those three things have been replaced, and I'm told the window's functioning properly. Uh, I'm gonna go, obviously, now to go pick it up, and uh, well, I'll update you guys uh, when I pick it up. Fingers crossed um, that it is off, uh, you know, functioning properly. And I'll, you know, let me know in the comment section down below after this whole ordeal is done. Do you want me to go over a total repair cost for the Genesis Coupe? Um, because obviously there's there's some repair costs here, and then there's going to be the repair cost with the door that I kind of went through with you guys with the quotes in the previous video. So let me know in the comment section down below. Should I do that uh, in stages, or just wait and then do one full, you know, comprehensive? Uh, total cost for the repair. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna go pick that up, then I'll meet back up with you guys, and then we're gonna head out to go pick up the new modification for the GTR, sitting right there behind me. Very, very excited for that, and uh, yeah, I'll go pick up the car, excited to go do that, make sure that works, and then go pick up the fun modifications for that thing. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so on my way to go pick up, uh, obviously, the modifications, and I found a uh, brethren on the road here. See if I can get focus on that. I don't know if you guys can see that plate, but it says KDM Power. Mm, I, I'm curious what kind of. Oh no, traffic up ahead. I'm curious what kind of power is running on that. The car looks either wrap or plasti dip. Uh, yeah, not, not sure what kind of power we're talking about. Uh, give me one sec while I try. Oh yeah. See that? That's the uh, handover camera technique to uh, to downshift and upshift. Anyways, uh, a little bit of traffic here, so I got to slow down and start shifting. But pretty cool. Um, yeah. If, I, if if you're one of my viewers, which the chances of that is like 0 0.00001 percent, uh, shoot me a message because that's a cool car and I'd like to see it uh, up close. Anyways, guys, uh, let's continue on. I'll uh, I'll be back up with you when the uh, traffic's flowing more freely so that I can talk to you guys without uh, interruption. Here's a better look at it now that we are uh, fully stopped here. Yeah, it looks really uh, cleanly done, whether it's a wrap or um, classy dip, I'm not sure, but it looks uh, very nice either way. All right, guys, so now that we're moving at a uh, you know normal pace, just kind of in one gear, maybe we'll talk to you guys a little bit more. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, I got obviously the motor, the regulator, as well as the lines, the, the rail lines for the window replaced. Um, and you know, while doing that, they obviously damaged a little bit more because they had to pull the window down or a little bit more in order to pull it up or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit more damage than what it was before, but I, I think, you know, most of it is, is tint, and there may be a little bit of window damage under it, but what they're going to do is they opened up a case to see if they can replace the, um, the window as well, uh, and, and kind of bunch it all into one thing, because uh, what Hyundai usually asks for is like, they, they won't try and, and replace the glass if it's just the, um, what do you call it, the, um, the tint that's damaged. But in this case, I, I'm thinking, I don't know, I, I won't know obviously until I take, I, I go and get the tint removed and then I'll know for sure. But you know, it is what it is. I'll show you guys what it looks like now. Um, and, and, and there is one more problem, the big problem actually. It's a good thing I came on with this car at highway speed because I would have never known. I would have never been able to bring it back up to them. There is a really, really bad amount of wind noise coming from the window, like the corner. I'll show you guys. So. Basically, 
this is it right here. I'll see if I can get focus. You guys can see there. But listen to this corner right here. I hope you guys can hear that. And I'm just going to accelerate. That's, that's the turbo. But listen. Listen to that amount of wind noise. It's really, really bad. And I hope you guys can hear it. At, at, at even higher speeds, it gets worse. There, we're a little bit higher now, we're about 85 miles an hour. But yeah, you guys can see what I mean there. So unfortunate, obviously, you guys are gonna be like, oh, the window's not fully rolled up. Well, here, look. Now, fully rolled up, okay? I'll speed up again. Same amount of noise. I just have traffic in front of me, so I can't, uh, I can't go any faster. But yeah, I apologize for the noise, but I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, we're going over one of the biggest and tallest bridges in my area here, so, and there's a really nice view with the uh, the fall colors out and everything. So I figured I'd see if I can give you guys a little view there, and. Uh, in the spirit of it being fall, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get the drone up uh, either tonight, probably not tonight, tomorrow morning, and uh, get you guys some nice fall cover colors, and I'll include a little montage right now. All right, we've arrived at the post office. You guys can probably see it behind me. Uh, now, this will probably answer the question I've been dwelling over for the uh, past drive, and that is if the modifications will indeed fit this car, fit inside this car. Uh, I cleared out the trunk, and I have fingers crossed that it does. Um, let's find out. Well, I picked up the packages, and like I mentioned earlier, it's gonna be a challenge, because look, I got three right here. And I'm gonna try and fit them somewhere in here. And then I got one stuffed in the trunk here. I can't fit anymore, there's no more room. Um, yeah, uh, for a sneak peek, if you wanna know what is inside this thing, go follow my Instagram, the.redliner. I'm gonna put something in my story and I may make a post. Go follow it so that you know the inside scoop because I'm gonna you know, show you guys what they look like on Instagram, so go follow. Well guys, it wasn't the most easy, you know, fitment ever, but they're all in here. So we got one over there, one back here, the other one there, and then, like I meant, like I showed earlier, the other one in the trunk, obviously. And I figured out what the hell is wrong with this. No wonder we're getting wind noise, because look, I hope you guys can see that I can fit my finger through that. Like, it's really tough to show you guys on camera. Let me come around here. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Got a person hooning by. But this little gap here shouldn't obviously be there. It should be sealed solid like that. So look. I hope the camera's doing justice. But you see how it's wide and then it goes under and becomes flush with that? I'll show you the other side for reference. See, so take a look at this. You see how there's no gap? I can't fit my finger. It's all under the, the weather stripping. So, I uh, I called on my way here, made an appointment tomorrow morning. Gonna drop it off. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they just have to adjust it. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I yeah beats me. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, let's start heading back now. And uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, when we get home, I'll give you guys a sneak peek inside. But like I mentioned earlier, sorry about the wind noise. It's really windy. Like I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's gonna be a modification done to these before they go on the car. So, 
I'm not gonna let, let you guys know what it is. Leave it in the comment section down below if you guys have an idea as to what I'm doing. Well, Redliners, whoever said that Genesis Coupe is not a practical sports car is wrong. Take a look at the cabin here. <laughs> we got boxes on boxes. Granted, I am sitting like, like nothing away from, uh, maybe I've probably got like, uh, probably 10 inches of space between me and the wheel here. Um, so I'm, I'm sitting, you know, extremely close and I'm 6'2", so basically it, it's not the most comfortable experience, but I managed to fit all these guys. I mean, take a look at that, guys. Like, look, look, look. I got a little scared there, man. For, for a second there, the, sh the stuff was not fitting and I'm like, shit, like it's not gonna fit. I was, I was pretty cheese. Um, but anyways, everything's in here. Uh, yeah, uh, just, I'll give you guys an update uh, when, I, when I get home. I'm still debating, should I show you guys what the mods look like or should I just save it all and, uh, and just show it to you when it's done and rent, like on the car and then I can show you guys what it does or what it is and all that stuff then. Um, but anyways, leave it in the comment, right now, leave it in the comment section down below. Should I show you guys or should I just leave it and then show you guys the end product? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm torn, honestly. I have no idea what I want to do. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I'll close out this clip with one final glance. Here's me. Here's box number one, box number two, box number three behind me right there. And then, of course, the last one in the trunk. Well, homies, we made it back home and uh, time to unload all this crap out of the car. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I can put it, stow it right here beside the GTR and the Gen. Should be, hopefully, a, a big enough space for, for it all. Uh, and then I won't make the same mistake again because my back and head and like, lower back and everything is hurting because the seat was so, so close to the, uh, to the steering wheel. It was not a comfortable ride, so I'll probably take them with uh, the Lexus to uh, get them modified and uh, I should do that either tomorrow or the day after. But uh, yeah, for now let's unload and I'll see you guys back in a sec. All right, box number one. Here's box number one. Okay. Now, box number two. Now box number two and three will definitely not be so easy because they're I really jammed them in there. They weren't really going in. So uh, let me get an angle for you on that one. All right, so box number two, here we go. Well, not nearly as bad as I had thought. Boom. All right, box number three now. And lastly, box number four out of the trunk. All right, Redliners, the boxes have successfully been uh, put right beside both cars. I'm gonna end today's video right here because as you guys can see, and I apologize for the lack of lighting in the garage, like I said, it is nighttime, but, but I will give you guys a sneak peek on Instagram. So once again, the.redliner if you wanna see what's inside those boxes tomorrow or the day after, depending on my schedule, I'm gonna have them modified and then they should be done in three to four days and then from there put them on the car so very very excited for that and uh yeah i'll give you guys an update again on, on what happens with this windshield problems 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 anyways guys i'll see you guys next video take care bye bye